how to transfer a rubric or another single component from one uh, D2L site to another when you don't have access to it, when you're giving it to a colleague who doesn't have access to your site. So in this case, if you go to Course Tools, Course Admin, you'll see in Rubrics, under Assessment Rubrics, that I have created a rubric and I want to uh, give it to my friend in their class. So um, what I'm going to do is I go to Course Tools, Course Admin, and Import, Export, Copy Components. And then I go down to uh, Export um, Brightspace Package and Start. And then I want to simply do the rubric. So I'm going to put a check mark by rubrics. Now I could export all of them, but for me, I'm just going to export this one. So I'm going to click on there and go continue, select individual items to export. And then here it is. Here's the one that I made. I called it rubric and then continue. And then um, if there's any files, I always click here just in case to, to include in it, like if there's an image or something and then export and then done. And where it's going to appear is this bell. So if I uh, give it a minute and click on it, there it is, and I can uh, click on the download, and there's the, the zip package. I can click on the zip package, and there it is, zips down there. And that can be emailed. So now, my uh, here's my friend, and uh, wants to import this rubric so they go to course tools they first download it on their their uh, email download it into downloads and then they go to course tools course admin and then um, they go into import export course components and then they import components and then start and now they have to get something from downloads so they get uh, upload they go to the downloads folder here it is that's what they downloaded from the email I sent them open and then import components all components goes through the uh, little process here I'm just gonna pause it while I wait it's actually pretty quick and then uh, view components and um, if you go into that just puts it into content but in this case it's really in course tools course admin and if you go into rubrics it's now there